Hi Painty Peeps. Um, I've been asked again to do a video of my kit and uh, how it works and how I made it. So here we go. I'm sorry I've just got my uh, phone camera today so no flash videography going on. Um, this is what it looks like. Open. Got all the colours I want. Um, I've got all sorts of one stroke containers and water and gems, cotton buds, glitters and glues um, and all the other regular stuff you have. Um, <clears throat> on the lid I've got my oops, sun, I've got my stencils on little hooks. These are little stick on command hooks and my mirror also lives there. And my brush holder, which I made myself, needs a new spray of black paint, I'm afraid. It's looking a bit shabby at the moment. And quite possibly a extension, <laughs> due to the fact that I've got several brushes in each hole down this end. Um, each part of my case opens up to reveal more storage. Oh, money! It's always a good thing to find in your kit. Um, so I've got my Ben Nye's under here. I usually keep a selection of rainbow cakes that I don't use very often under here. Um, I've got a little star blend palette that I made myself um, that's easier than having them all in the, in the main part of the case because they're just so big and dusty and horrible. Um, so that's under there. And then... <clears throat> under this one there is more glorious paintiness with my glitters, kabuki, a stash of brushes um, not entirely sure why I keep those there, they really should be in the car as an emergency fund but they're not um, extra black and white um, just little finger daubers, glitter powders um, odds and bits of gems here um, the kind of things you don't need very often but you never know someone might ask for it and then you'll say oh I know exactly where I've got that then I've got my black and white and, and the rest over here um, I made this out of a converted firearms case I'll show you the back it's just a plastic shell it's very very thin and very light it's probably around 20 years old, maybe a bit more. Uh, the ones you get these days are, are quite heavy and quite um, clumsy. And I mean, this was three and a half kilos empty, and it's about 15 kilos full. So that's <laughs> that's how much paint I've got. Um, so you need to buy one that is the lightest you can possibly get it at, because then you're going to fill it with all sorts of heavy stuff. Now most of it has been made with core flute. And core flute is what I've used here. I lined the base with it and then I started making these little compartments to stick everything in. This is core flute here. It is, it's plastic. Um, it's kind of like corrugated cardboard where there is, I don't know if you can see it, the corrugations in between the slices of plastic there. Um, it's pretty cheap, you get a big sheet of it, easy to cut with a craft knife. So I made my little compartments um, and then I made things, um, pieces to sit my paints on. Now this, I've used regular tag um, inserts that you use for your proper um, kit boxes and I've just cut them down smaller. You can see that I've cut them, cut them so that I can get all my cakes in here. The same with these. These are regular tag inserts that I've cut down and and rearranged to stick on this piece of core flute that I wanted exactly this size. Um, so that's actually stuck to it there. I bought this um, foam from the warehouse. It's a, just a regular cheapy store. And it's sold as a camping mat or a yoga mat. and you get, So you get a big sheet of it. <clears throat> it's very cheap. 
and I just cut it down, um, traced around my paints, laid them all out, traced them around, cut them all out with craft knife and stuck them all in there and then glued it to a sheet of claw flute. So that's that there. The only problem with this kit is that when you are transporting it and you have closed it, all of these things rattle around. They're all rattling around, some things fall out and all the rest of it. So when I travel and to and from gigs, I get a plastic bag and cover my paints. And then I stick my sponge bag on top. I can't stick many sponges in here, so if I'm doing a big gig and I need more sponges, I would put another bag over here as well. Um, I fold up a face cloth into my water. That usually gets wet at the start of a gig. At the end of a gig, it gets shoved back in there, ready to go home and be washed. Um, and then, with the sponges in it, there's enough height in it, sort of when you close it, holds everything quite tight so that when I tip it up and take it somewhere it's not all going to fall everywhere. So the brush holder I made myself by using a couple of sheets of the foam. I got a couple of sheets of foam, I cut little pieces of foam, I lined them up in a row and I kind of measured how wide my brushes were going to be. I need a brush guide, I suppose, to make them that way. Glued this bit over the top, and then that is how I made my brush holder. The brushes sit in there. And my kit doesn't get dirty while I'm using it, because every time I use a brush, it goes straight back into the hole. And each one of these is... It's got a designated hole on you, I would know <laughs> which ones go where. But I've gotten used to it now, so as soon as I use a brush it goes straight back in the hole. And then it doesn't lie all over my kit. Okay. So when I go to a gig, I put it on top of a camping table. I don't have that with me at the moment. Um, it's the size of this kit, and it has cupboards underneath, and this sits on top of it. So my sponges go in under the cupboards, um, and a few of these things do too. Um, my water pot stays in my kit next to my wipes. Uh, some of these things, cotton buds and things, I don't use very often. My whites come off and sit up here, whites and blacks, and my glitter. And I've got poofer and pot, and my water, and away I go. The end of a gig, um, everything just gets put back where it was. The plastic goes back on the top, the sponges on top, close it, take it home. Now with cleaning this, these ones that you get from Tag have got like a shiny surface on them, so they're much, much easier to wipe and clean. This is almost a little porous, so it's a little bit more difficult. I just get a wet wipe and just rub in between all around until the whole thing's clean. Then I get the corner of a wet wipe and I, you can see this one I've double dipped into and it's gotten a bit muddy. I will clean the surface of that, each paint. And I'll clean all of these so they're all sparkling by the time the next time I use them. Now because I've got my brush holder up here, um, my sponges go into the little um, table, cupboard, cupboards under my table. It means I can keep everything relatively clean all the time. I use one sponge per child so as soon as I've used it, it goes into <clears throat> my plastic bag of things to go back and wash. And every time I use a brush, it goes back in here. Every time I use a stencil, it should go back in here. A lot of the time it lies around on here sometimes. Um, the, probably the only thing I, that I find irritating is when I've got my star blends out. And I just sit them anywhere, really. But I try to keep them, if I'm not using them, I try to keep them closed so the dust doesn't get into everything. Um, but they, they're easy enough just to move around. Sometimes I stick them on the table. If there's enough room in front of the table, I'll stick them down there. Mm. 
So, if there are any questions about how I did things or what I used or where I bought it or um, what I would do to improve it, uh, put them in the comments section um, and I will endeavour to answer your questions. Thanks for watching.